Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to see how to write a custom custom DML command in Interactive Grid. Okay, so I'm going to create a new page for that. I'll just go to this uh, thing and here I will click on the page. Uh, I will create a blank page over here. In the blank page I'll say custom uh, IG, IG stands for Interactive Grid. DML okay you can write your name that is completely okay uh, give a logo to give an icon to this page I will just give a random icon let's say this one create the page a blank page will get created in this blank page I'm going to create a body section and here I'll create a region and here, here I'll say the region name is customer I will uh, select type as interactive grid and from here I will just choose the table as and as customer customers and uh, uh, I'll just save it and run this code run this page and once I'll run the page you'll find that we have customer table over here all right I will make this region as editable region first so uh, go to this this place click on attribute make it editable okay so as soon as we make this field editable it will go to the process from here this is nothing but the page process on submit process okay so a process a dml process uh, dml default process get created over here right this is the default process with the help of this default process you will be able to save the record i'll just save it and run the page and we'll show you quickly uh, as we already have seen in the last video that we were able to you know update the record so let's say if i make jack sparrow one and we'll save the data it will get saved so this is happening because of this default uh, you know custom uh, sorry default dml what has been created over here what i'm going to do i'm going to just make it never so to make it a server side condition never uh, you will just have to select the type and make this never and once you make this never this code is not this block of code is not not going to get executed this uh, default uh, dml command will not run i'm going to write a custom process over here right click on the process create process and here i will select a cust i'll write custom code to update customer ig grid automatic group processing dml you don't have to select this thing you have to select uh, execute code only let it be execute code but here in the editable region you have to select the region so once we select the region okay we will be able to understand that okay we are actually you know uh, highlighting or tagging to this particular region so once we do do that uh, we can come to we will uh, the source uh, pan will get opened where we can write our PL SQL code. So just expand it uh, to update or to delete or to insert the record in uh, interactive grid. What we can write, we have this block of code which help us to write the thing. I will just paste it over here. Okay, so you can see we have this apex row status equals D. It means that. It means we want to delete the record from uh, you know from the table delete uh, you know record uh, code we, we will be writing over here in this section right if st row status is C it means we want to create the record and that create record or insert uh, statement will have to write inside this else if block or if, if we want to update the record we'll have to mention that row status equals update and here we'll have, we will be writing update code fine so i'll just do that thing i'll remove these two lines and here i will say that uh, uh, delete from customers where uh, where where uh, we'll have to mention the id so what i will do i'll just quickly go to the customer table first uh, so here in the table customers table you will find that the column name is customer ID. I will copy this this name and we'll just come to this place. Here I will select customer ID. And here you'll have to mention equals uh, the name of your uh, you know customer ID column. So we'll see what is the name of the customer ID column. 
so this is what the name of the customer id column which is actually the same name right so i'll just copy it and we'll go to the process here in the process i will mention that this is what we want to delete right so this is the delete command okay similarly we'll have to work with insert and update so to insert the thing what i will do uh, i'll say insert into customers and uh, i'll mention both the column name over here i mean full name and, and uh, email address because customer id will get incremented or get populated with help with the help of this identity sequence column so will not take that thing but i will take these two columns full name and email address and values uh, are the column name of these two columns the region uh, column name so if you if you look into the region uh, uh, name over here we have given the same name full name and email address so i'll be just taking the same name i'll just copy this thing and we'll paste it over here we'll have to give in a colon to identify that okay this is what the name of the column okay so this is how we used to denote the column you know value or column name right when we say colon it takes the value of the column right and to update the record what what i will do what i'll do is that update customers and here in the update customers we'll set we'll say uh, set uh, full name equals full name and uh, email address equals email address colon email address where uh, customer id equals this customer id correct so once we do that just validate by clicking on this button if your code is correct it will get validated call uh, this is not getting uh, ended properly it means we are we are doing some issue it seems okay let me do one thing let me just remove all these comment things right so when if this is delayed then this thing else if uh, when status is c then create which is completely fine and here we'll have to terminate the statement else if this is update then update the customer and this is fine now we'll click on validate yeah so this time it got validated click on ok our th this thing is ready i'll just click on save now if i will refresh the page here we have this editable region i now i will try to update the record so i will just remove one and uh, give two and click on save and you can see the changes got saved so this time this change is, is getting saved because of our custom code what we have written over here fine so this is how you can your you can write your custom uh, you know uh, dml operation on interactive grid i will give you uh, uh, the sample uh, you know code in the comment box or description uh, place you can find, take it from there and you can uh, use it that's all for this video let me know if you have any question or concern thank you